The Jackson Laboratory has played a vital role in cancer research since 1929. While significant progress has been made over the past several decades to advance our understanding of cancer and how to treat it, opportunities for further investigation still remain. Some of the challenges that researchers encounter are differences among tumor types and the multitude of gene variants known to drive cancer and confer drug resistance. So how can scientists approach these challenges? Genetically and biologically similar to humans, mouse models improve preclinical research and help find cures for disease by allowing scientists to study cancer in a living organism as opposed to a tissue culture dish. Some of the unique advantages of working with mice as an experimental tool, as opposed to other mammalian model organisms, are that they are relatively easy to house and breed and have a shorter lifespan. Genome sequencing and genetic engineering capabilities allow researchers to create mice that can be used to study cancer initiation and progression or to test new therapies safely. Mouse models have played an integral role in the understanding of cancer biology and treatment. We will review three main types of mouse models used in cancer research and the questions they might be used to answer. Some researchers work with mouse models that spontaneously develop tumors. Certain inbred strains will develop tumors at a higher rate than others. Drawbacks to this method are that the time to develop tumors may vary from one mouse to the next, and that the rates of spontaneous tumor formation are generally lower than in induced mouse models. New mouse tumor models can also be created by inducing a mouse to develop tumors, either chemically or through genetic engineering techniques. Chemically induced tumors cause random mutations that can occur anywhere in the genome in order to discover genes that aren't already known to be involved in tumor formation. Genetic engineering methods can induce tumors in very specific locations in the genome or can be targeted to induce tumors in a specific cell or organ type. The term xenograft refers to taking cells or tissue from one organism and inducing it to grow in a different organism. There are two types of xenograft mouse models, cell line xenografts, CDX, and patient-derived xenografts, PDX. An advanced humanized mouse model contains both a human tumor and a human immune system. With these models, scientists first engraft human immune cells into an immunodeficient mouse and then engraft the human tumor cells or tissues. Mouse models have played an integral role in the understanding of the biology of cancer. The models presented here are also used for the development of cancer therapeutics. Mice that contain mouse tumors are commonly used in early drug development. Then, increasing in complexity, drugs can be tested in xenograft models that can reveal the effectiveness of therapies that do not require an intact immune system. The most complex model is the advanced humanized model used for drug development that requires the engraftment of both a human tumor and a human immune response. Thank you.